Hey guys, and welcome back to Skin Prep Sunday, where we prep our skin for the week with skincare product reviews and demos. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any uploads, and let's get right into this video. Today, we're going to be reviewing the new Notorium Dew Glow Moisturizer SPF 50. This is all the rave. It's been sold out ever since it came out. I believe it's back in stock now. Everybody's talking about it and I want to talk about it too. So I'm sharing this with you guys today. I have not used this yet. This is going to be my first time using it. So we're going to review and demo it together. I hope you guys are not tired of Notorium products. I know I've been reviewing um, her products back to back on here and it's just because it's what I'm using right now. And I like to share with you guys what I'm using and if it's working for me, if it's not working for me. This one is a newer product right now that everybody's talking about. So I wanted to go ahead and give you guys all the details if you're in between purchasing this or not. I wanted to give you guys all the details in a thorough review so we'll help you with your purchase and we're matching today. So if you are new here, um, basically I just pull the product up and go over what it claims to do Go over the details with you guys and then we get into the review. It says our daily moisturizing sunscreen is formulated with organic slash chemical sunscreen filters that apply invisibly on all skin tones to provide broad spectrum SPF 50. PA and it has one, two, three, four, I think there's four plus signs after it. Protection while leaving a dewy radiant finish, niacinamide and absorbic acid are included to help visibly improve the look of the complexion. This is a dew glow. It's supposed to give you a nice glow finish. It is a moisturizer SPF. I love that you get the moisturizer and SPF in this. So I did skip my moisturizing step today. I just cleansed my face, used the niacinamide serum, and then we're going to go in with this um, moisturizer SPF. So let's go ahead and get into this and then we'll go over everything else. This is a close-up of the bottle. It's very pretty. I do like the packaging. This is 1.7 fluid ounces. This is what it looks like. A nice pump. We love a nice pump. So I'm going to take about that much for right now. And let's go ahead and apply this. I don't smell. Ooh, I don't smell a scent right now. Actually, let's just rub it on the back of our hands first and see what we get. Yeah, so I don't smell. It does have that, a slight sunscreen smell, like the sunscreen, you know, when you spray sunscreen on your body, it has that um, smell to it, but very light very light and it feels really good on my hand it actually feels amazing on my hand so i'm excited to try this on my face all right guys you guys ready here we go i'm gonna do it like this now it tells you how much sunscreen to use but okay let's see so it says it blends Invisibly. And that's the biggest thing I think I'm looking for. Okay. So see how easy that just blended out. I didn't have to manipulate my skin or tug at my skin. It's white, but as soon as you start massaging it into the skin, it definitely, definitely goes invisible. And I like that because I have used sunscreens to wear chemical sunscreens also to where as I'm blending you still can see the white after I finished like you still can see it in spots and you have to kind of go back so I definitely am impressed with that let's do this side okay and I'm definitely getting that dew glow And I should be using more, I'm sure, but for the sake of this review, I'm just gonna use the amount that I used. But it actually, to be honest, you guys, right now, right now with me applying this, it actually feels good. I love the way it looks. I really love the way it looks. And you guys can see that 
that dewy glow. I should have did one side first and left it and then did the other. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Now my thing with chemical sunscreens, guys, is that they look good on the skin, but something in them makes my skin feel crawly and I don't know what it is. So I'm praying that this doesn't. Um, there's a few chemical sunscreens that I had to throw out or give away because they sit on my skin nicely, they melt into the skin, they are beautiful, but at some part of the day, it starts getting crawly. If you guys know what I'm talking about, if you use a chemical sunscreen, and it only happens with chemical sunscreen, it has like a little crawling effect, like something's crawling on your skin, and I can't take it. I literally have to wash my face because it just feels like something's crawling on my skin. I don't know if the hairs are lifting. I don't know what it is. I'm going to keep you guys posted and let you know if uh, I experience that because it doesn't always happen right off the bat. I love the dewy glow. I love the application, how it does invisibly apply on the skin. I do like that. I love the fact that it's a moisturizer and SPF. The benefits of this sunscreen is it's a sunscreen moisturizer with SPF 50 protection, provides a dewy glow and works well under makeup. And you guys all know that we should be wearing sunscreen. It helps to prevent dark spots. It helps not. It helps our dark spots not get worse if you already have those. It helps with fine lines and wrinkles. It's a barrier that protects your skin from the sun. Sunscreen should be your last step in your routine period. You only need to wear it in the morning, even when it's raining outside, even when the sun is not out, you should be applying sunscreen to the skin. I promise you, if you're not using it and you end up using it or start using it, um, you will see a big difference in how your skin even looks, the appearance of your skin. You're going to pick up anything new to your skincare routine and you don't have a sunscreen, pick up a sunscreen. It doesn't have to be this one, but find something that works for you. If you want to do a mineral sunscreen, you can do a mineral sunscreen, but you got to find something that works for you and your skin. We cannot all use the same thing, no, but it's good. You got to try something to see what works for you. This sunscreen is for sensitive skin, dry skin, aging skin, and combination skin. It says the best time to use sunscreen is 15 minutes prior to exposure. So again, in your last step, 15 minutes before you head out. I don't even know if I use it in 15 minutes before I head out. I, I, I don't know, unless I'm like getting ready like to actually go out somewhere. You can reapply your sunscreen during the day also. I do not do that because I feel like if I'm out and my skin is catching debris and dirt and all that, I'm not gonna put the sunscreen back on top of my skin because my skin is not clean anymore. So I don't, I don't do that. I put enough on that I feel like it's gonna protect my skin throughout the day and that's it. I do not, I don't think I've ever reapplied sunscreen. It's just not my thing. The sunscreen is $22. Like I said, you get 1.7 ounces of this. That's a good price, and especially for the size. I think this is a really good size. It's still travel friendly. Love the packaging. But yeah, I think that's a good price for this. Um, sunscreen, especially applying it and seeing how it feels. I think the price is pretty good. So now let's go ahead and get into the rating. We're going to get into the stars and see what people are rating this product as and they're giving it 4.6 stars. Let me try to find some reviews. One says two for one during travel. This is absolutely beautiful. It is also great to travel with as I do not need a separate sunscreen and moisturizer. And that is the thing. If you can find a moisturizer SPF, especially when you're traveling, just in your skincare routine period, because it knocks out a step in your routine in the morning. We're all trying to get out the house and do what we have to do. Taking out the extra step in your routine is very helpful. So I definitely agree with that one. No white cast skin looks healthy and dewy. Love the pump. I agree also. This is the last review I'm gonna read. It says, it's not often a product exceeds my expectations, but this SPF did, checked every box, feels great on the skin and leaves a beautiful dewy finish. No scent, doesn't peel at all, is able to be reapplied and doesn't burn skin or eyes, it's perfect. So they've got some pretty good reviews on here. I really can't find a bad one. I haven't found anything that sticks out 
that worries me. Every time I would look on Instagram or um, Google, this product was always sold out. Hope that it works well in my routine because it actually looks good on the skin too. And to have, like I said, a moisturizer and an SPF in one, you really can't beat that. Worrying about if the moisturizer and the SPF are gonna clash, you don't have to worry about that either. And you guys can see there is no white cast anywhere on my face. And I don't have any of that. I don't have a blue tint, weird looking tint to my skin. So I am really liking this. I think I'm gonna have to definitely give this two thumbs up for now. Again, I will always update you guys and let you know if I'm still using something, if it's still working for me. But right now, in this moment, so far, so good. That is gonna complete the end of this video. If you guys have any other questions that you want me to answer, go ahead and place them down below. If you have any other products you would like for me to test out for you, if it lines up, I definitely don't mind doing that. In the back of my hand feels really soft. If you are not subscribed, subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss any uploads. Until my next video, cheers to happy and healthy skin. Bye.